good morning. Only oh, Suri going to school today. The, the two big girls coughing. I can't send them to school. But I have some cooking to do. We're gonna make some whole wheat roti, some pumpkin takari, tomatoes, choka, pak choy. So let me go and drop off the baby and get cracking. You ready? I love you. I love you too. Oh, oh. Yeah, man. So I get the things that I need. I didn't want to go in the place because they are a bit camera shy, right? So I get pak choy, tomatoes, pumpkin, and you make a little roast pepper choka to go on the side, you know? You know what's the best way to eat your roast pepper? When you break off a piece of your saga, right? Normally it's be like a triangular shape piece. Well, that's how I just break my saga. And I'll take a corner now of that triangle and dip it in the roast pepper first and then scoop up my talcari. Mm. I'm wondering how come Sana ain't come to help me. I find like I wait and normally he just come out and help me, but that's surely what's going on here. See all my dining chairs? And I, I hear parrot. My dining room floor clear out. You're doing Christmas cleaning, boy? No, 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 I don't see. Pass my room up on the Hi, Sydney. Hi. I want to make some bush tea with some ginger, turmeric, and some fever grass outside. Lots and lots of hot pepper. Bananas for my kids on the inside. And extra ripe bananas for my kids on the outside. Okay, where's our flying it? I pull him out from over my head. He's a copper rump. His rump is copper in color. And let me see if I can give all a close up of his face. You little vex. You little angry. He real pretty boy. And I seen real colors, you know. I seen yellow, orange, purple. A little pink, blue, green. Right? All the colors of the rainbow. Bye. Okay, let's get started. There's a lot of preparation, but if you plan properly, everything will go off without any problems. So you see this? I shot of any. I had it soaking a little bit. So I'll be blending up some shadow benny, lots of garlic, uh, onions, and some pimento. Right? Pimento. Some nice long pimento. I don't know the name of this variety, but it's very, very flavorful. And I want plenty. Let me see if I'll get some from the other trees. Yeah man, I'll have some. These pimento trees are so faithful, eh? I have them over here. I do salt, I do fertilize. All I just do is just throw the um, vegetable peelings around the roots. And I get in pimento whole, yeah, boy. All right, so. Yeah, man, this will work. Plus, I have some more in the fridge from my last picking. I'm sure you how nice Cora looking today now. Nah. Hey, boy. Hey, Tiana. Yeah, nah. Is your mother, you know? My mother? Your mother, boy. Warm to my mother. I she tell me buy her bread for she. <laughs> she tell me buy PVC too? She tell me buy PVC girl. Alright. Girl? I'm gonna try to do something that I'm supposed to do over a year now. Mm-hmm. 
Otherwise, we house got crack. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Yeah, boy. Go down the road looking. Down the road looking good enough. He's gentle. This is the fastest way for me to get my garlic out of the skin. Just get my a little pong. And I keep your hands close by because when you start a pong garlic, garlic will be flying all over the place. See that piece? I just always cut off that. It don't break down. A healthy bowl of garlic, right? This is seven heads of garlic. Let me just give it a little rinse. Yeah. So since there's a lot of things I'll be preparing today, when I wash it, I wash it everything. Deal with my pumpkin, cut it up and wash it. My pak choy, same thing. Wash and roast my tomatoes. The damadola. Right, let me show you what's going on here. Whoosh. Serious business. So we gotta break this down. Break down all of this. Right? Yeah, my nice bowl of yellow salad there. You see when I see what I cook in, I like to put plenty of all these things. Plenty. Now I wouldn't be cooking the dishes with the pepper, but I'll have the pepper on one side. Right? Because of the kids. But I'm going on the next side of the house to check out my boy Santa. Oh gosh, oh they could have told me come here. Oh they could not tell me come here where you on Santa. Oh in the garage. Where? I don't know why a goose chase looking for you. Kaka! Kaka! Oh. I'm running all over the house looking for you. Eh? Yeah. Yeah, well, I come back on this side here. You're a real sweating boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're getting through. Good, I get through. Alright. Yeah, man. You fix it already? I fix it. I miss out? You miss out? Okay. I tell you, the man don't stick. The man don't stick. Don't do that little piece of plum in there. Right. I used to have some bike and plant it up there, you know. I think that's a perfect place to get them going again. I want all you to listen. Well, you're not seeing, but there's hummingbirds over here. They're all inside a powder puff tree. I'm sure I have hummingbird nests inside here yeah, with, with young ones. I'll wash my tomatoes first and put them to roast. Because I find that um, when you roast them and they cool down, I could remove the skin easier that way. Yeah, so I'll stack them up on my ring stove first and then light. Mm-hmm. Okay, next up, punking. How are we doing this? We cut them in wedges first. Just like that. Cut them in wedges. Take all the little pit on the inside. For tal curry, I ditch any skin. I ain't cooking it with the skin today. Slice them up nice and thin. Give it a little rinse there. Oh, I forget this fella. He hiding by. I always forget somebody. Pumpkin. Let me check with tomato. Yes, nice, nice, nice. Need to give them a little flip. I find the tomato skin, that red color, 
it's kind of intensify just before it start to char and get black it's intensify yeah you'll get a few you'll get a few um you'll get a few rolling off just put them back right there blaze them blaze them don't fray it to get them heated eh? next up pak choy bok choy whatever you want to call it that is plenty pak choy partner say that five times fast plenty pak choy partner plenty pak choy pump plenty pak choy i can't say it fast so you just cut off the part that would have been keeping all the leaves together Remember a long time they used to make you bring pack choy stems in school to make you do art and craft? Yeah, you could tell why it looks like a flower. Have your water on low. You just need a trickle because you're going to be washing it out again. And you just run your fingers through the stems. I gave my pack choy a preliminary rinse and what I'll do is I'll fill up the sink, I'll scrub it and sanitize it with some hot water so, while I'm filling up I'll put some baking soda in there and some vinegar one heap tablespoon of baking soda quarter cup of vinegar oh you see that effervescence yep so you just take your pak choy and you cut them up into pieces directly into the water this is the second rinse right let me start roasting the things for the roast pepper chuka. I want it to be real colorful. Real colorful. So I have green and yellow hot peppers. I'm not making it too spicy. And you put them in garlic whole just so. Lasana, by public demand, Lasana is going to sing a chutney for all you because like all you two like me alone now, all you like to hear he sing. Well, go ahead, sing, sing, sing. The place smelling like Harrell Choker House. You could be my meanie and I your Mickey Mouse. Girl, where you come from like you're from Calcutta. Your cocaine apple. Kinda choka, eh? We the sada roti, we the sada roti. That real funny. <laughs> that real funny. Look, 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 look! Watch out, we have it here, though. Yeah. Damadula kachoka. Mmm, what's this sada roast pepper? Something going on, eh? Yeah, wipe your mouth, eh? That joke, that joke. <laughs> I see you trembling. Yeah, boy. Wait up again. Wait up. You ain't, you ain't show them everything, man. I see some hot pepper. They like you don't make a pepper sauce. No, that is from a, um, this is from a, um, shot of any answer. But listen, uh, mm -hmm. I want you to know that he's not only my alu peeling man, he's my meat man, too. Yeah, we're gonna chop up some, some chicken breast there. Fast, fast, brisk. Brisk. Sana is my alu and meat man. If anybody could do it, Sana can. Sana can. Salman can. Sa Salman can. A bus. A bus, bus, bus. Where is this? Sana is your man? I see Sana is the man who can. Oh. Sana is the man who can. Feel alu. Cut up meat. Throw it. Compost, multi talented, multi faceted. Look at the look of determination on his face. <laughs> so, I ended up leaving the chicken for last because you all see how many things I had to wash and prepare and cut up, and I didn't want to cross contaminate the sink. So, the chicken gets in the last say in the sink. You know, we just do it. Right, shadow Benny and Char. Garlic smash. I'm gonna chop them up. Just smash.
Martin, I'm going to get. Slice a couple onions. They don't have to be perfect, just, you know, break them down. I love the flavor of pimentos and and any kind of thing like choka and char now for the big fellas on it be careful it's pepper all they remind me not to use my left hand to touch mr sana face right this is the situation right plus we have we shadow then the main ingredient all of that i'm going to cook them a little bit right Take seasoning from it? Yeah, you're smelling anything? I'm smelling all kind of things. <laughs> I don't know what I smell. You're confused? I'm confused. <laughs> now listen, we in a generous amount of oil. Eh? Like about a quarter cup of oil. See chicken, you season it. Ooh! Yeah, man. You know, when you season chicken, it is seasoned the front. <laughs> Here right, you why do you want to train it? I want you to train everything and I want to hear the chew out. All right. Oil hot? Real hot. This is the pepper and char you're talking about? Yeah, shadow belly and char. Shadow belly and char? Yeah. Right. Now. Cool. The nose is gone in my body. We're going to add the, um, you see that anchar masala and jira grains? Mm. Throw it inside you for me. How much? Throw all of that. Throw all this? Yeah, it's anchar. You right. had to put thing. And it had to cook up. Right. Dice them deep. Turn them up. Throw all that shadow bunny inside it for me. What salt? We got we come to that. We add in salt. You get you get excited. I wanna taste it. <laughs> right. Throw all. Mm -hmm. Good pan down here. And you add enough salt. I will just let all of this cook and let all the flavors come together for about two to three minutes. Because I don't want them, I don't want, I don't want it to get too dry and cooked down, you know. This is a real high-tech anchor storing device. You can get them in the grocery, you know, but they just be camouflaged with coffee in it. Well, we got chunky here, girl. Punking, punking. Chakta grease? Yeah, chakta grease. Yeah, we pot hutsing up. Hey, get out, man. When, I, when this kind of food cooking out, it's feel to be like underneath a, a upstairs house. Yeah. By a long wooden table. I just sit on a bench, boy. Oh, like, gosh. Like a press. Like a press second. Yeah. Yes. Me too. Get out, man. I really like the old time days, you know. Me, myself, boy. Boy. I was messing too bad. We can recreate them, man. As yeah, soon. Yeah, well, we doing we doing it in a kind of way here, no? A little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. Yeah. Pile more garlic. Yeah, not so much. Right. See. Yeah. Put some onion. Sidey. Um, Shut up, buddy. Spin them up. You gotta knock your pot for good luck. Yeah, I Shout out to me, brother, Mr. Knock a pot. Knock a pot, boy. Yeah, man. Man, we a nice restaurant, but you gotta come and check you out down there, you know, yeah. brother. Yeah. Hey, boy. You throw me pumpkin and a little bit of salt. I train a generous amount of mustard oil inside here because. The mustard oil is also going to add as a preserving agent, apart from giving it flavor. He is also a roast to 
tomato peel up. Just want to show all yeah. See? Ugh, I taste it. It tastes real good. You should try it. If you have extra shadow benny, and you know what to do with it, shadow benny and char. Yeah, so sana pongan, mill dong nice. Right? You just like help to break it down a little more with the back of the spoon. Now, if you have a mortar and pestle, you could pong up your tomatoes, but I don't. I will just give it a quick pulse. So you see a quick pulse, I don't want puree or ketchup. This is exactly what I want. All right. So when we're going to do a pak choy, right? So we throw in a hefty amount of garlic. The same mix as before with the pumpkin, huh? Now we just add in the pak choy pieces gradually. It will start to will down. It will all will down. Just cover it on medium heat and wait. Then we deal with the roast pepper chuka. I come into chunky with tomato chuka. You see what went on there? Let me show you. So I put my shadow bunny garlic pimento inside there. Salt. We have a little pepper on the top there. Mm-hmm. We ain't cutting up that pepper. We leave in that hole. And just as with the tomato, if you have a mortar and pestle and you want to use that. Feel free to pound the ingredients, but I don't take all the stems of the pepper, right? And roast the garlic. Plenty shadow benny. Use a spoon. Don't use your fingers. A little bit of olive oil, salt to taste, and the juice of one lime. If you want it more acidic, you could squeeze more lime. If you want to omit the lime altogether, you could use vinegar. Just mix all together. Smelling good already. Take a little taste. That's correct. Actually, look at how it boiled on. Boiled on real nice. And I think this is this is about it, you know. You chunk it, choker, and then chunk it, chicken. Chunk it, choker, chunk it, chicken. Say that five times fast. I put more garlic than oil. This is real garlic. Very little oil, actually but plenty garlic. Partner, they are waiting patiently. So you see, garlics, all the garlic pieces are nice and brown. Mm -hmm. That chunky make me sweat. The chicken is just a straight curry. Yeah, so I have some curry powder sweating out there. You let that cook up for uh, two minutes again, throw in the chicken. You just want to have this in the pot until all the pieces are evenly cooked through. Let's see if I could do this with one hand for you. Yeah, man. That's too nice. Let's go pick some fever grass. I have two fever grass plants going quite down the hill, so we're a little too far to walk and one up by the pool. I'll carry all you up on that side. See how nice it come in here? Pretty. Eh -eh. Have you seen that on the fence? Let me see if I could zoom and show all you. There's a saffron finch. 
you always come and say hello from time to time so I have about five of them regularly coming I would have gone to the bottom and picked but kind of hard to pick with one hand holding the camera when we drink in fever grass tea drinking yeah man my little planting patch here by the pool all my friends and them like they're resting boy I ain't seen nobody flying this hour I think the sun probably a little too hot for them Lovely. I have my fever grass all chopped up and I'll grate a um, piece of turmeric and two pieces of ginger and let that steep. Mm -hmm. Chicken. Sana is a sifter man. Sana is a sifter man. Tomato chuka. Pak choy. Takari. Rose pepper chuka. Shadow benny and char. Pumpkin. That looking good. Just so. Right? So I'll just, I'll take them off and I'll put my tea to simmer. And I don't need my flour, you know, which is basically a little white flour, some whole wheat, baking powder, a little yeast, a little salt. Knead them good and I have to leave this fella to rest. And while I'm waiting for my roti flour to Rice and rest. I'll sit down and take a five. I better do like you, eh? Why you don't call? Watch come now. On, come on, One life nice, eh? Oh boy. You get through, you get through. Lipton tea in the pool. Yeah, Lipton tea in the pool. Lipton tea. While the wife make the roti. While the wife cooking inside, I outside bathing. <laughs> You're hiding like Adam. You're hiding like Adam in the bag day. I <laughs> yeah, I seen you. <laughs> Going and pick up Bailey because my tea finished draw. Just one because the because the flavor and the taste is very potent, very robust, and we don't want it to overpower everything else. I hear a shell tungsten. I hear a shell tungsten. Oh nice, smelling real good y'all. I wish all you could smell that. So, I'll just add a cinnamon stick and that bay leaf inside there. And let the curry overheat pull out. Just the right amount of flavor, whoops, from that. Ta-da! Ooh! Happy you! Hit the taco off in the center there for me. Why do you do that? Hey! <laughs> Check if they're like, he need flour. You need flour? Why do you do that? You're a fraud! <laughs> I make out my loy on them, right? I get five good sized loy. And that one there, nice surion. <laughs> yeah? So we'll start with this fella first. Ah, you ready? You ready to cook? Mm-hmm. You see if you're using a bail now to run on your husband, I want you to take that same energy and flatten your load. Like that. Yeah. 
Roti number one. Repeat four and a half more times. This happening quick. Oh, you seen them little bubbles there? Time to flip. Time to flip him. Mmm. Tell me if all you're seeing something happening on my tower. Are you noticing anything taking place? Roti swelling, look, no hands. So it's not really magic. Yeah, it's roti magic. And that is not camera tricks, eh? It's round and swollen. Careful. Look how pretty. You look so pretty. Ring the bell. Mm -hmm. Correct? Yeah. She did give her um, medicine, which the top was sweet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you want to talk about Spanish? Mm -hmm. Chinese? Mm -hmm. Chinese? Mm -hmm. Is she both here? Yes, yeah, you're back to run in your way. Time yeah. for a piece. Asanya, a little bit of hair beating. You know how much sweet that was? Mm hmm. Make a guess. Man, guess how much you think this was sweet pepper? No, big sweet pepper, yeah? Mm -hmm. Small sweet pepper. 